Hello and welcome to this video which is going to be titled Why do we make music? Um, why do we make music? So I put this hat back on because I don't know why um, that first video I wore this hat and it, was, it wasn't intentional it just, it just happened and then the last video I put another stupid hat on I didn't like that hat so I thought I'm going back, I'm going back to this one and maybe this will just become the hat that I wear why do I need to wear a hat? I don't know. Nobody really needs to wear a hat, do they? But this is the hat that I'm wearing. So, why why do we what did I say the title was? Why do we want to make music? Why do we why do we make music? Um Why do I make music? Why do I make music? I think that's the title of this video. Why do I make music? Uh, and ultimately, why do you make music? What are the reasons why you make music? Why are you a musician? Um, so, a little bit of backstory. I was watching a video on YouTube the other day, and um, it was the the guy from Patreon, and I've completely forgotten his name. I should have wrote this down. It's not off to a good start, is it? What was the guy's name? The guy who does Patreon and um, and that band... Pomple Moose. Um, all I can think of now is the name of, of what's his name, Ek, the Spotify guy, and it's that's not his name. Never mind. The guy who runs Patreon. So he was giving a talk on how he saw the future of content creating and um, creativity and and. YouTube and so on and, and, and the direction that Patreon's going in and, and, and all the rest of it and he, he talked a little bit about his backstory and which I'm sure everyone's familiar with about him being in a band and um, and all the amazing things that they did for their fans and the content that they created and how he set up Patreon and all the rest of it and at one point he's he said ultimately I had he had to ask himself what were his intentions why did he create music and what what was the purpose of it all and he said for him i, I think he said it it was um he he wanted to do something put something out into the world that he knew was was going to make people feel better um that somebody would listen to that music and and it would you know make their day better or they you know make them feel better about themselves or uh, some kind of altruistic motivation. Um, so that kind of, you know, that that has got me thinking a little bit. Um, why do I make music? What what are what are the intentions that I have, or the reasons that I have for making music? Um, and maybe you could think about this as well. And you know, if you want to put some comments down below. Let me know what. Why do you make music? Why do you do what you do? Um, and it might not, you know, it doesn't have to be anything, um, you know, super altruistic or that you're trying to make the world a better place or anything like that. Because ultimately, I'm not sure that that those are the reasons that we make music. At least not initially. Um, you know, I I have to think back. To my early childhood to think about um, my first attempts at making music and what what that looked like and you know I can really remember um, having having a, a little Yamaha uh, electronic keyboard I think it was a PSR 7 something like that which actually I've still got somewhere it's like been circuit bent by a friend of mine and makes some crazy interesting noises now but yeah I had this keyboard and I had keyboard lessons and I would play um, the songs out of the keyboard book but then I would also just really 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 just enjoy just messing around on that keyboard and just making little melodies and tunes and sounds and I, I discovered that if you press two buttons in at once the sound the, the voices buttons 
you could combine them together. Now, obviously, that it was meant to be that way. They planned that when they designed the thing, but I didn't know that. I thought I'd discovered something amazing, that it was a, some kind of weird thing that if you press the two buttons at the same time, you would combine the voices together. So I spent ages trying to find the best possible combinations of two voices. And really it was just, I was just interested in the sound and I was interested in what you could do with that little keyboard. I got a little bit older and started playing guitar and abandoned the keyboard altogether. And really then my intentions were that I wanted to be in a rock band, I wanted to be famous. Um, probably as so many of us maybe did as, as children we got together in a, a few friends played guitar and bass and drums and whatever and we practiced around one guy's house and we'd write these corny songs and we thought that you know eventually somehow we'd be famous and we'd be like the next Metallica or whatever and we basically we would just try and emulate all those um, so I you know, kind of grew up in the 90s, so it was a lot of 90s kind of thrash, 80s, 90s thrash metal bands that we just tried to emulate and we just thought if we pretended to be like them then eventually we'd be famous and we'd have lots of money and we'd have lots of cool guitars and we'd play gigs every night and it would be fun. And maybe that, maybe that's the, the key thing is that it would be fun. We just wanted to have fun. Um, you know, it wasn't necessarily that we wanted to change people's lives or anything like that. We just we just wanted to have a laugh. We were friends and a little group of friends together, and and we just wanted to have fun. Um, you know that I I I don't I don't think that feeling ever goes away. Really, if I think about bands that I was in when I was old, a bit older, and. We we took it a lot more seriously and, and you know had all decent gear and regular rehearsals and paid for things and did proper gigs and social media and all the rest and really pursued the the kind of um, you know DIY band route a little bit but again ultimately we we wanted to make something that would allow us to just work together and have fun and not have to get a day job um, and I think of, you reach a point where making music and playing music becomes such an intrinsic part of your life that you will you just want to do it all the time um, and maybe you know that's it's not necessarily an, um, something that you you're thinking about other people you really are just thinking about yourself and the fact that you want to do that all the time you need to find a way to earn money that allows you to pay for all the things that you need to pay for in life through music you know and that's kind of when I think about it it's it's led me to think that that perhaps music is um, perhaps music is like a it's a bit like a drug if I think of the sacrifices that I've made over the years in order to ensure that I can still pursue music, the amount of money that I've spent, probably uh, relationships that have failed <laughs> because I needed to continue pursuing music, does that make music sort of like a drug? If I, if I replace the word music with heroin, in some of those situations and you think about it that way then you think actually music it's it's a uh, it's a dangerous it's a dangerous thing perhaps hmm i don't know that's an interesting thought um so now you know my my life is very different because i have a job i have a normal kind of 9 to 5 job you might say uh, but that job is being a music teacher. I work in a college with students who are um, 16 to 19 and then old, older students as well who are, who are pursuing higher education, doing a degree. Um, and, 
yeah, so I work as, I work at a nine to five job as a music teacher, music lecturer, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so I, I managed to fulfil my goal, I suppose, of making, continuing to be able to make music and work with music and also pay the bills. Um, but it's not quite the same as, as being an artist. Being a teacher is not the same as being an artist. So I still pursue that aspect, but that doesn't earn me any money. Um, that's so you know in, in many ways that makes it a hobby does it make it a hobby yeah I suppose it does um, it doesn't make me pursue it any less than if it were not a hobby um, and so you know now I reach the point where I'm able to afford to do all, all of these things I'm able to afford the, the modular and, and explore that and um, you know sort of keep keep going with music um, at this point though you know a any sort of dreams of being famous and and earning lots of money and all the rest of it that, that those have fallen by the wayside long ago and now the, me the the reason to pursue music in many ways it's it's almost um, it's almost like a spiritual thing I suppose in the sense that it's it's about me and sort of my self-development and exploration of creativity and and in many ways to just try and continually be improving myself and continually making myself uh, a better musician you know in some ways it, I guess it's the same way that um, you know a, a monk who who um, is in search of some kind of spiritual enlightenment continues to work on themselves endlessly until until they are depart from this realm uh, and I imagine that you know I will continue pursuing music until I draw my last breath whenever that may be um, and so it, it, it kind of has reached the point where my main motivation for pursuing music now is still very much because of enjoyment and fun and pleasure um, but also it, it's through explore it's for exploration and and to try and push myself further and um, and yeah and to, and to overcome boundaries or constraints or limits that are, that are imposed upon me by myself and 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 the world around me and just just to keep growing um, as a musician. And that is probably my main intention, I guess, now, which, and, until you start thinking about it and talking about it, you don't really know what, you don't really know what, why you do a thing, you know, it's just, you just kind of carry on doing it for a long time. Um, so, yeah, so I, I don't think, I don't think it's ever really been about other people or about an audience or trying to create a feeling or something in other people, I think if I'm honest it's always been about myself and you know maybe that sounds a little bit selfish um, but it's but it's definitely there um, so I hope you found that interesting um, I hope that uh, it maybe sparked a little bit of uh, thought within yourselves and I really would be interested to hear what it is keeps pushing you forward, keeps driving you forward, why do you keep pursuing music, why are you a musician, why do you continue, um, and I'm sure everybody will have different reasons, and none of them are, are better or worse, or, um, you know, we're all just different people, um, so yeah, if you could let me know in the comments, what, what are the reasons why you um, pursue music? Okay, thank you. I will see you next time. Adios.